When it comes to giving, a lot of reasons why individuals are in poverty in the kingdom of God is because you do not give by faith. You give by what makes sense. There's a lot of believers that do not tithe, but I want you to understand that when you tithe, if you let me say this, if you don't tithe, you will live by what you have in the natural. If you begin to make a lifestyle out of walking in faith, that must include your finances. Walking in faith is, is connected to our finances as well. In fact, it's one of the areas that tries and tests if we truly have faith anyway. So remember this, what I did to begin to come out of poverty, I realized that spiritually I could not save my way out of poverty because when nothing is being sown, nothing can be multiplied. When nothing is being sown, nothing can grow. So you cannot save your way out of poverty. You have to invest your way out of poverty. And this is something that's so important that you understand. You have to invest your way out of poverty. So if you, if you receive your seed and you only save it and you never sow, there can be no multiplication of what you have. So what happens is you stay at the same level. And this is the truth for many believers. You've lived your life financially at the same level and you have not moved and you've prayed, you've asked God, you've even done spiritual warfare. But I want you to understand, God created the earth. He created something called seed and harvest time. And he said, as long as there is an earth, there will be seed and harvest time. So this means that the, the natural realm is programmed by God to respond to sowing. There can be no harvest outside of sowing. So what this means is that if you do spiritual warfare as far as prayer, but you do not sow, the earth has nothing for you to harvest. Okay. And so this is so important for you to grab. You will never save your way out of poverty. Saving will gather and collect what you're receiving, but watch this, but it cannot create a harvest. Now, I'm not against saving. I don't want y'all to think that saving is evil or saving is bad. Amen. I have a savings. There's nothing wrong with savings. But I'm talking about when you're ready to go to the next level, when you're trying to level up financially in the kingdom, I want you to know there's no other way to level up outside of financial giving in the kingdom of God. So I want you to remember that, that so if so walking by faith um, in the area of finances, in order to do that, you must walk by God's order and God's law pertaining to seed giving. So this means with the tithe and with the offering. Now, the tithe, it, it means simply a 10%. So this means it's nothing less than 10% and it's nothing more than 10%. So that's the tithe. But when it pertains to the offering, this is what makes the offering so powerful. There is no limit to the offering. So how do we determine the offering? By our faith. 